what is happening everybody sandwich here with another tutorial for you today i'm going to show you how to easily download and install the convergence mod 2.2.1 for your dark souls 3 uh steam version game now the first thing i'm going to say that i would want you guys to do is make a new folder on your desktop and i would name it convergence mod I've already got one on my desktop called uh, Convergence Mod, so I made a new one and just named it something else. But if you're wondering how you do that, right click on your desktop, go to New, go to Folder, and then just name it, you know, Convergence Mod or whatever. Now, two things you're going to need for this is um, an extraction software. I'm going to go with 7-Zip is what I recommend, and the link for that will be in the description below. And you're going to need both DLCs for Dark Souls 3. Now, I haven't tested this to see if you really need both DLCs. I don't know. Um, I just had both DLCs, but they recommend you have them both. So I'm guessing you really fucking need them. Um, now, after you've got your folder on your desktop named Convergence, um, you're going to want to head on over to 7-Zip, download that. The page is going to look like this. And you're going to want to download whichever EXE fits your system. So for me, it was 64-bit. That's the one I downloaded, which is probably what everybody else will do. So once you have that downloaded, just go ahead and, you know, install it. It's really simple. There's a walkthrough wizard for it. And once you got that downloaded, go on over to the other link in the description for the actual Convergence mod. Should be Nexus Mods. And the uh, page that will pull up is a page that looks like this. Now, this is just like a basic overview of the mod. It's going to tell you, uh, you know, pretty much everything about it. It's going to tell you what they've changed, what's in it, all that good shit. And there's a very simple installation instructions here. Uh, and this is where they said both DLCs are required. Otherwise, it will crash. Like I said, I didn't test this. Um, I just had both of them, so... Once you have read on over that and you are satisfied, click the Files tab right here. And you got a couple options. You got the Convergence Downloader, which is, I guess, like a automatic kind of deal, which not, is not what this tutorial is about. Or they have the Manual Download option, which is what I'm going to walk you guys through. For me, it was easier. So you've got the low system requirements add-on and then you've got the actual convergence mod itself right here now i'm going to walk you through how to use how to add the low system requirements to it because uh, for me personally i downloaded just the convergence itself and played it and i went through the whole mod and everything but the game seemed to be quite laggy and just really not up to par like I felt like it should be and I came back here after the fact and I saw that there was a low systems requirement add-on patch that I could have done so I'm gonna walk you guys through how to do this that way it doesn't lag out and you're not dropping frames and it doesn't look like shit um, so anyways first thing you're gonna want to do is click manual download on the main convergence file right here and once you click the manual download you're going to have a little uh, option for a slow fast or a slow download. I'm sorry, and a fast download. There is no real difference between them. I can attest to this because I actually have a Nexus Mod Premium account. And I used to use the slow download and I now use the fast download. And I can't tell the fucking difference. So click the slow download. Uh, it's probably going to take you about six or seven minutes depending on your system. And I'm not going to download it because I already have it. So once you have that fully downloaded... I would recommend going into um, wherever you have it downloaded at. For me, it was downloads. And since we already have 7-Zip installed, all we got to do is double-click the mod. And then it's going to come up like this. Now, this is the reason that I recommended you put a folder on your desktop. Because once you have them here like this, you're going to want to click all of them. Click and drag and plop them into your folder that you made on your desktop. 
essentially this is extracting it you could have either clicked and dragged it or you could have highlighted the, highlighted them all and then hit this extract button and then pointed it towards your folder so once you have the convergence folder the mod engine hoodie patcher hoodie patcher and didn't put eight dot dll extracted you can go ahead and close that out then we're going to hop back on over to the nexus mod page and you're going to want to download the convergence low system requirements add-on now this is uh, about a gig and a half less than the other one so it shouldn't take that long but same deal you just click manual download slow download and you're going to want to wait for it to finish and then once it has finished go ahead and do the same thing double click it in your downloads or wherever it was and the first thing you're going to want to do is pop open this readme text now it says this is the low system requirements add-on to the conversion mod. it re-enables the vanilla light maps for the entire game make sure your shadow settings are turned off for full effect installation extract the zip copy and paste the map folder into the convergence main mod folder overwrite any files when prompted so what that means is once you've got it open in 7-zip you're going to want to well first you're going to want to open up your convergence folder here you're going to want to click the map and drag it into this convergence folder inside your main convergence folder on your desktop and you're probably going to be prompted to uh, overwrite some files maybe not yes so you just want to click yes replace the files in destination all right once that is done you just want to exit out of that and now you're going to want to pull up your steam uh, dark souls 3 game directory folder and there's a few ways you can do this the easiest way is to go to steam find your dark souls 3 hit this little settings cog here go to properties go to local files and click browse and this is going to open up your um your game directory file for dark souls 3 through steam uh so just double click on the game folder and this is your main uh, workspace i'll say when you add modded files to your game so once you have that you're just going to want to click them all click and drop them into the game folder make sure that nothing else is highlighted or nothing else is clicked on or else it won't work you just want to drop it straight into the game folder itself all right and once that is done something i always do is just back one page come back and then just make sure all your files are here so we got the convergence folder we've got a mod engine hoodie patcher hoodie patcher dll and the dinput 8.dll file now that is everything so just to make sure it works you're going to want to open it on up hit play may take it a second and there you go if it has worked you will have this home screen for dark souls 3 if it did not it will be the uh, vanilla back dark souls 3 background and um once you get in that was really loud in my headphones uh once you get into the actual game another way to make sure that it uh fully worked was once you go into new game and um you're making your character and all that if any of the armor or weapons are not showing up that means something didn't go right with your installation and at that point i would refer back to the beginning of my video and redo it um, also something to note is if you have a fresh install of dark souls 3 like say you just bought the game on steam you have never played it and you want to mod it you're going to want to start a new game in vanilla and just make a bullshit character or you know it doesn't matter get past the first cutscene 
and then uh as soon as you get control of your character you need to quit out save it and quit out because the mod itself just has to have something to latch on to so you can't have no saves in the game so that is it ladies and gentlemen that is how you easily download and install the convergence 2.2.1 mod to your dark souls 3 game um you know as always if this video helped you please uh like subscribe comment you know whatever the fuck you feel like doing i appreciate any of it and if you're interested in any other souls content i've got um, multiple mod playthroughs i've got live streams i've got all kinds of stuff on my channel so um and if you have any other requests for tutorials on other mods and how to download and install them let me know in the comments below and um i will i will get right on that because i actually enjoy making these videos so anyway that is going to be it for me so as always, I appreciate y'all stopping in and I will catch you on the next one.